intern, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed lunch. Was your salad from Eat Shoots and Leaves delicious enough? Because mine totally was. They even put on some extra croutons for me. Absolutely delicious. So, I've gotten a good start on our raccoon exhibit, and I'm very excited. Smallish species of raccoon in the world. I wonder if they're clever little ones, because all the raccoons that I have ever dealt with are exceptionally clever. Did you know my mother actually raised one? They found an orphaned raccoon after a really terrible storm that knocked down some trees in their backyard, and they ended up raising it right alongside with her baby brother. Basically, you give them both a bottle. The raccoon would actually go and steal the bottle from the baby all the time, too, so they had to watch out for that. But I'm very pleased with what we've gotten down so far. We have a nice little jungle fence with some beautiful vines growing up it. It looks kind of South American in terms of like Aztec, Maya sort of hints. So I think that'll fit them very well. Oh, why is our panda really hungry? No, panda. Are you going to eat, my dear? Yeah, she's going to go eat her bamboo. She just was really not a happy camper. We're going to get her a pursuit ball because so far in my experience, pursuit balls make pandas happiest. But she was not a happy camper after that birth. Didn't sit very well with her. All right, so let's see. We're going to whip out some of the things needed to take care of our little raccoon friend here, including a very delightful little hollow tree shelter, which I think it will enjoy very much. And in fact, we're going to put two in because we are going to be snagging a mate for this raccoon. I don't think we have much in the way of mangrove trees right now, unfortunately. So we might just have to kind of make do uh, with some other bits and pieces from our greenhouse until we get the mangrove trees. So let's see, what do you think? Mm, well, there are like, hmm, <laughs> little Hawaiian plant. That's okay, I can, I can deal with that. In fact, let's see what sort of, no, 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 island excursions, there we go. We might stick with these plants just for now. Ooh, the white mangrove. That's exactly what we needed, actually. Oh, good. And the research for the pursuit ball is complete. I guess we'll throw one in here for them. And throw a few in here for our pandas, who are finicky about staying happy. Hopefully the balls won't roll everywhere. Ooh, Flutter. Our horse Flutter is going to give birth. That's very exciting. All right. And the mandarin ducks are being silly. You are so hungry. You are so thirsty. You're gonna go rest in the shade structure? It's gonna take you a while to get there, baby duck. There you go. We'll keep an eye on them. Sometimes the baby ducks seem to have a little bit of trouble settling in for the first time. But we'll, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. We'll take good care of them. All right, mangrove tree, mangrove tree, beautiful mangrove trees. Absolutely gorgeous, I love these. Love these trees. Maybe we'll tuck a couple more down over here, even though it's a little drier. Get some of these Cuban palmentos in. I think that they're very attractive trees as well. There we go. Anything else? Flutter has just given birth. California, these little guys, coconut palms, New Guinea palms. Maybe a couple coconut palms, just cuz. Just cuz. There we go. All right, let's see. And now we're going to try to add in, let's flatten out the land a little bit. Right where we're going to put some of the raccoons play stuff. There we go. Nice little flat spot there for the raccoon to enjoy. And now, ooh, look at these beautiful things. Oh, so many beautiful things. Tea bushes to sprinkle in. Oh, just gorgeous. We'll put some tea bushes around these, these trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we've also got the New Guinea Impatience, just a few of those scattered here and there. We have very little to pick from right now, in turn, so it's important that we just take advantage of the plants that will go in this biome, even if they're not exactly from where the raccoon is. It shouldn't do them any harm. And it should make this area, oh, the pineapple palm, one of my all-time favorites. I mean, look at it. It's such a handsome plant. It just has such presence. Java moss. We'll put just a few things of Java moss along the edges there. It's so bright. I love it. Mandarin ducks are still being healed. That's a good thing. Let's see. A few of these guys kind of sprinkled about. Pacific 
Oh, giant kelp. No, we're okay. Oh, grass, we're okay. Beardless rabbit's foot grass. Fascinating name. Fascinating name. Dwarf mantis. Okay, we're gonna put a few down here. A few down here. Mm hmm. Ooh, the zebra orchid. Zebra orchid. Okay, just a few of those kind of sprinkled in. Mm hmm. Okay, I think we have properly filled this place to the absolute brim with trees and foliage. So now it's time to add our little new addition. All right. Let's see, what else do we need? A little bit of fruit. So we'll put some piles of fruit out for it to eat. Some insects for a good bit of variety to its little diet by that door. There we go. Then it can just reach out when it's laying down and kind of pluck an insect in its little hands. I wonder if these raccoons wash everything the way that some species do. All right, then we'll give it, ooh, a little lookout post. That's adorable. We'll give it a little lookout post up here. I think that'll really appreciate it. And let's see. Good, all right. I think our little raccoon is ready to come out and play. Oh my goodness, it's so teensy. Look at it. Look at you, my little friend. Oh, you're so cute. Are you sniffing stuff? Checking stuff out? What do you think about the world, huh? What do you think? There's some good fruit over here. You wanna try some of this good fruit? Yeah, that's what I thought. Digging right in. Oh it, oh, it picks it up with its little paws. That's just adorable. You are so cute. Can I see your little face a little better? Oh, 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 it's moving again. Wow, it is an absolutely adorable little one. I can see myself really falling for this little guy. Getting a good look at you. Look at your little red tail. I wonder why you got a red tail. Did that just fit in better? Was it just something that the ladies liked more over, over many eons? So your species evolved with a red tail? Maybe, maybe so. Oh, I love these plants. Look at these plants. <gasps> They're as beautiful as you, little raccoon. Little raccoon friend. But all right, I think we'll leave our, our little buddy alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're so cute. I'm sorry, I just can't stop. All right, there you go. Replenish the fruits. Now, is this a boy or a girl? This would be a little girl. So let's go ahead and get her a mate just so that we can try to keep this endangered species Moving and grooving. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 little raccoon. Little raccoon. There you are, little raccoon. No! And there we go. Alright, so let's get a little boy version. And there we go. And hopefully these guys will get along okay. And our guests will enjoy them. Oh, look, some of our guests are coming to look already. That's fantastic. What do you think? Seems pretty happy. Are you pretty happy though, ma'am? Because I need, I don't want people to buy more of our stuff. So let's see if we can dig out another gift cart. Because I really want to see people get into it. You know what I mean? Get in the spirit of things. And here's a little gift cart. Perfect. So I'll put the little gift cart right, right here. And that tells me that we might be adding some more island excursion-y things this way. But hopefully that'll work. And maybe we'll stick something else down here. Like a coconut. I think everyone would enjoy coconut drinks, Stan, don't you, in turn? I'm trying to think about a small animal we can put in here, too, to kind of fill up this space. But we will definitely put a little coconut drink stand in. Right there. And then we'll fill this space in a little bit. All the plantain path. Ooh, island, island jungle path. That's what we'll do over here. And this is just kind of a main little breakaway. You can come, sit, relax. Grab something nice. Something nice to drink or eat. Let's see, island lamppost, not really what we're going for. That's better, coral table. Man, that brings back memories. <laughs> so many memories. We won't go with the coral table. We'll actually stick with the umbrella table that looks like palm trees, just so we don't break the theme of this entire zone. Let's see, put a couple of those down. And where's the trash can? How's the line doing? Line's doing okay. That woman's shaking her head, but that's okay. She's gonna have to cope. We'll put a little trash stand right there. That's better. And then let's look at something jungly. 
that we can add in right here. Small animal, I'm thinking maybe even an enclosed exhibit that people can walk through. Or something just small, on the smaller side. Now, the Sumatran striped rabbit definitely fits that small side of things, so there's an option. We can definitely put a little teensy rabbit in there. I have no problem with that. They are endangered, and we do need to work on breeding those guys up too. Ooh, a ground dove! But I would like to save the ground dove for when we are actually working on the aviary, which I want to build pretty soon because I absolutely love aviaries. You know what? Let's go with the rabbit. For some reason, I just really feel like putting the little rabbit in here. I think it'd be adorable, uh, pretty nice for people. Maybe we can make it a little area that they can walk through if I build it carefully. So we'll put some thought into that. All right, where, where do you go, little rabbit? Hang on, gotta, gotta find out some stuff about you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's do our research. All right, tropical rainforest. Ooh, really high star rabbit, wow. Critically endangered. Uh, da -da -da -da. Short ear rabbit. It is usually about 40 centimeters long. That is one small rabbit. How cute. Let's see. Gray with brown stripes. A red talon rump. Underbelly is white. It lives in forest altitudes of 600 to 1,400 meters. It is nocturnal, resting in burrows of other animals. Usually eats the stalks and leaves of understory plants, but captive rabbits ate grain and tropical fruit. Sightings of this species have only been reported three times since 1972. The most recent, in late January 2007, in a photograph taken with a camera installed at a national park. Fascinating, so they are critically endangered little wild rabbits. Well, you know what? That sounds like a perfect thing just to tuck right here in this little corner. So let's see, let's get to work. We're gonna make it a little bit, we're in a little valley down here. Mm-hmm. Not too deep, not too deep. But what we're gonna do in turn, let's see, smooth it first. I'm trying to find, there we go. Flatten it a little bit. I kind of want the rabbits to be- Oh yay! Someone just bought one of the delicious coconut milks! I hope you enjoy, young miss. What I want to do- What? I guess she doesn't like the flavor of coconut milk. Needs a place to rest, really hungry. There's places for you to sit down right here! Can you not see them? Right there! Are you gonna sit? What's she doing? Where's she going? She's moving around. There. Huh, I'm glad she figured it out. That was really concerning me for a second. We're gonna chip away a little bit. Create a little valley like this. Let's see how small can we get? Can I get in here? Nope, 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 nope. Not at all. Oh, I'm creeping in. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Boy. I have to be so careful, I always tend to mess this this stuff up. Oh, we're messing my shovel there. Okay, there, 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 there. Smooth that a little bit, smooth this a little bit. Okay, flatten it again. All right, and turn now the tricky part. We're going to see if we can surround this with fence and build a little bridge to go over it. I'm actually pretty excited about that. All right, this is just a fine bridge, I can live with this. Let's see, where would we start it? Just a small thing. Start it there. End it here. And then we just want to connect the two. Kind of right here. Not that far out. Come on, calm down, calm down. Calm down, little bridge. You're okay. Oh, I hear a little panda baby. I love our panda baby. We should go visit him in a little bit. All right, take this out. Whoops, not that part in turn. All right, good. See, now we've got a little bridge for the guest. Take out the supports, it's okay. I swear that this is um totally logical. Oh, the raccoons are enjoying getting a little bit of water from, from their little mangrove pool. Very happy about that. All right, and then let us get, where's our fencing? Fencing, fencing, fencing. Mm, the bamboo fence. I kind of want to go with the jungle fence again. Let's go with the jungle fence. 
Except, is there a smaller bit to the jungle fence? Like a lower jungle fence? Well, let's find out! Because I don't think our rabbits are going to try to escape. Though I will admit I have managed a few zoos where rabbits try to escape on a chronic scale. And trying to keep those little suckers in can occupy a vast amount of your time. Alright. That's good there. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Hey, now. Don't be a fussy fence. That's what I thought. Whoops. Alright, there's that. Ooh, Lily is now pregnant! We're gonna have orangutan babies. That's fantastic. Let's see, then how to close it off. I guess we'll have to come down like this. So the bun buns don't try- I don't think they'll try to escape from under there, but we'll figure it out. We'll find out if they, they think that's a smart move or not. I like it! I like it! It's a nice little teensy spot for a nice little teensy bunny. Tropical rainforest animal. Alright, let's get the bridge put down for just a second so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Put this in, put this in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always have a very hard time with how brown this area looks. Rainforest. Dry forest. So I tend to... I know it's cheating just a little bit in turn, but I have to... I put the green down and then I can peck away at the green. It's actually easier for me to go backwards. And then tropical rainforest. There we go. As long as I have some green accents in there, I can usually survive. Okay. And then temperate, trend, temperate forest. <coughs> Hem, you see nothing. You see nothing. You see absolutely nothing in turn. Don't worry about that. Don't worry your fine little head over uh, those additions. But now we're going to dive back into putting down tropical rainforest plants. Quite a few. Ooh, the mangrove grass. So it likes burrows. Let's put down what the animal needs in terms of care first. No, not the eye eye, please. Island excursions, island excursions catalog. Where oh where is the island excursions catalog? Such a pile. There we go. Found it. And our adorable little little striped rabbit. I'm actually really excited about adding this little one in. Doesn't need anything to play with, doesn't need anything to sleep in. Just needs a lot of grass to eat. Well, that's pretty easy. Doesn't need burrows or anything. Put down some lettuce. Sprinkle that in. We'll get in a tiny itty bitty little little rainforest pond that it can come and drink from. There you go, little bun bun. Smooth that out a little bit in turn so that the edges aren't so rough. Good job, good job. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope! Ah, no, I... Smooth. Fix. 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 Oh, Dashi's giving birth now, too. Man, our wild horses are just doing fantastic. We're gonna have to take this out in turn. Okay, now, don't panic. We just need to kind of fix this part. There we go. Man, this is so hard sometimes. Put that back there. Then we need to come over and get our bridge again. But I have come a long way in turn, so I have to say I'm a little bit proud about, uh... How much better we're able to pull this stuff off? No, no, yes, no. <laughs> Curse it all. Okay, let's let's see if we do this and then this. Good. You're staying with me. No, why? We had it. We had it. You saw us in turn. We had it. Okay. Yes. No. Ah, fudge. Freaking bridges! Curse, the curse of the bridges. That's what this is in turn. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. <laughs> I knew it would go back the way it was. We just had to fiddle with it for a while. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that made me, that makes me feel a little bit weak there. No! Oh, oh no. Okay, in turn. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna just... Where's my path? There's my path. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
Well, that's better. Okay, much better, much better. <sighs> let's let's go get a refreshing drink. Let's go get a nice refreshing drink. Kind of breathe a little bit, and then we will come back and finish our little rabbit exhibit after after I relax with some coconut milk because that actually sounds absolutely fantastically amazingly delicious right now. <sighs> All right, intern. Just one moment. I'm gonna get a drink, and then we will resume. Okay? You think about what you want to name the bunnies.